Now, if you guys remember, recently I made this video. Now, F1 2008 was the first of two F1 games, two F1 seasons to not have an official F1 game. So today I'm here to finish the chapter. Now, before we get into the race, let's quickly go through a grid rundown and basically give you guys a refresher of what the grid looked like. We begin with Spiker, driven by Adrian Sutil and also Christian Albers, a good looking back marker, but no points to show. Speaking of points, Super Aguri, Sato and Davidson. Then Toro Rosso, of course, Lutzi and Scott Speed, of course, he was quickly replaced. Then we go to Honda, Jensen Button and Barrichello in the infamous Earth Dreams livery. Williams, Rosberg and Alexander Wertz driving that one. And then we go to Red Bull Racing. Mark Webber, David Coulthard, the veterans on the grid. We then go to our car today, driving as Ralph Schumacher and also his teammate Jarno Trulli. Then Renault, Giancarlo Fisichella and Heike Kovalan for this one. And then we go to the top three, BMW Sauber, driven by Kibitza and Nick Heidfeld, aka Quick Nick. And then of course the McLaren explosive lineup of Hamilton and Alonso, along with Ferrari, with Massa and eventual champion Kimi Raikkonen. Let's get into it. Now, I thought it was logical. In real life, up next we have the Japanese Grand Prix. But back in 2007, the Japanese Grand Prix was held at the Fuji Speedway. So today we're doing eight laps of Fuji in the Toyota of Ralph Schumacher. So home turf for the Toyota team here. And we're going to see how the AI behave as we go for eight laps of this race. We're going to get cut across there at turn one by Scott Speed, I believe. So we're going to just back out of that one on the exit. Going to go three wide. Do I want this? Yes, I do. I'm going to go for it. Ooh, a bit wide there, a bit deep, but we get the move. I'm going to try and clear Sato, I believe that is. And we're going to get one of the Hondas as well, the infamous Earth Dreams Honda. There's Mount Fuji in the background, of course, which is part of the iconic scenery of this racetrack. Of the P17 already here, so we're absolutely flying. Big old lunge on the brakes. That was actually Davidson before. This is Sato on my left, so... The home hero, going to go around the outside and try to get by, use the traction control, which it was the last year. Traction control was allowed in Formula 1 before it was banned for 2008 and has never returned since. This is Luzzi on the left in the Toro Rosso, who we're going to pass. Down to the final corner, we've got one of the Williams there. Not sure who it is. It might be Alex Wertz. I'm about to find out. We're going to... Go for the toe, it's Rosberg. We're going to go three wide as we clear David Coulthard as well. Hitting absolute VMAX here as we're P12 already. Go for the lunge into turn one. And that's Fisichella on the left. Yes, it is. No Fisico, Giancarlo. Not quite able to go through though. Let's see if we can try and get the run through here. And the outside, which could give us the inside into the fast right which is usually flat, but we're a little bit cautious. There's Truly, our teammate. Whoa, big snap on the brakes. Great save. Really good save. Whew. Nice reaction there. And P10, so only two places off the points, which of course the top 10 squad points in 2007. Not the current F1. There's Jensen Button, we're gonna try it and clear him as we head into this very tricky end of the lap. Lots of elevation change. If you've ever seen the Kibitza, oh, massa battle, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. They were going at it constantly there as Mark Webber got out of shape, so we just had to react there, which allowed Button to have a brief look. We're clear though, and back into ninth. I had to make this video, guys. Honestly, a two-parter. A small chapter as Button goes through. It's an injustice that we never got F1 games for arguably the two greatest F1 seasons of all time. 2008 and 2007. Both years. Absolutely insane. At the minute, Button's trying to put a fart on here. Put a show on. So we're going to go down the inside and lock that one in. And we're going to also look to get Weber here around the outside. Use the wide line and just swoop around the outside. Like so. But yeah, 2007. Famous for being just an incredible year. 
and the title decided between three drivers ultimately the gap was one point splitting the three 2008 the winner also getting the title by one point but the difference is that title was secured at the very last corner of the very last race on the very last lap of the championship which is also incredible so it's good that Assetto Corsa has these mods nowadays along with of course these visual mods which make it look also realistic for the time and just bring everything to life the AI also very well behaved at Fuji as we just get into the grass there so losing the balance a little bit that's going to affect our exit but it's great that we get some form of game for these iconic years in Formula 1 you know those two years were just unreal we was robbed of a worthy F1 game I mean if you look at Championship Edition, the last game by Studio Liverpool, of course, that was released, I believe, in 2007, actually. Um, well, big snap on the brakes. We're going to have to let the traffic go by here. Come on, come on. Straight back down to last. Great. And that's what happens when you lock the rear brake bars. Anyway, as I was saying, Studio Liverpool, they made, of course, Championship Edition, and that game was absolutely iconic you know i think a lot of us have a, a soft spot for that game and you know if we've got a game with 2007 or 2008 of that sort of caliber oh my god imagine the potential it would have been absolutely insane career mode all that stuff back in the day with those features sign me up right at a minute trying to recover here so if we can finish back in p9 where we were that would be a good recovery Currently looking to get past Verts. Gonna have a little look on the inside here. Nice, let the car float. Beautiful. Nice move. Front corner a little bit wide, but to try and get a better exit against the Super Aguri. Here we go. No DRS, of course. Just good old fashioned slip through and toe. And there is Sato, who we clear. So that's now P17 once again. And we're now at half race distance, so we've still got time to try and fire back. The rear is wanting to lock again there. Anthony Davidson up next in the other Super Guri. We're going to get a run here. We're going to send it into that left-hander. Oh, that's nice. Straight around the outside. And then we'll get a nice run here through the long right as we are clear. I think Barrichello up to 15th. DC next stop we're going to get a nice slipstream here down towards the chicane DC defends another good move there's Rosberg oh down the inside I tried it oh back end trying to fight again Rosberg also out of shape, which gives us the invitation to go through and take P13. Going to move the brake bias slightly forward. Just to see if that helps with the back end. Fun race. The spins made it a bit more entertaining, that's for sure. Let's try and get on the anchors here nice and late. Beautiful right on the apex traction down super early and this is where we're strong so we should be able to get the next two cars here if I can get this right there's Lutzi and we're going to get Fisichella as well lovely P11 bring the car back onto the racing line up next our teammate once again Yano Truly almost already back at that P9 spot On the brakes late. Bit of a release as well. Truly fight. But we're going to go for it. Inside line through here. Let's go. Oh, that's a bit wide. Into P10 though. And now we can once again resume our battle. With Jensen Button. I think we might actually get a run down to one here. The straight is so bloody long. 
Hence the Speedway in the name. Here we go. Toyota versus Honda at Fuji. Spot the braking. Nice back end, stable, under control. And that's P9 once again. So two laps to go. This one and one more. Going to try and sneak through on Weber there. And this is going to give us hook curve line as well. Carbon copy of last lap. Meanwhile, we have a McLaren and a BMW Sauber going at it here for P5. Now McLaren's out of shape, which we will take. Thank you very much. And uh, Sauber, they're taking a weird line. That's Heidfeld. Going defensive, slash uh, trying to attack the throw, maybe. He holds on, though. And we can't quite go through just yet. We're going to take a lot of curb to try and get that switch back. Yeah, high four taking some different lines, that's for sure. We'll just settle the exit. Be patient. Traction down beautifully there. We're going to get a big run here. Here we go. Probably could have won this race had I not spun. I have got it set to the hardest difficulty, by the way, so... This is just a set of course up. Last lap then, here we go. P5. Can we make it a podium, maybe? Think about it. Heifel's not done yet. He wants to cause more trouble. Goes through once again. Daniel Sar we go. Not sure if Heifel's still there or not. I'm out of fuel. Oh, I underfueled. Damn. Well, um, I guess that's the race. Well, there we go. Back in the pits, the car has been towed back. Fun race, really fun. I have such a soft spot for these cars, honestly, like such a fond memory in my head. I love these machines so much. And for me, they're the best looking F1 cars we've ever had. All the aero bits, they just look the part. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, I'll leave the first part of this two-parter linked in the top right for F1 2008. So those two can be a little mini series between the two of them and essentially completing the F1 collection, which we never had. Anyway, guys, links down below. Like the video, let's try and smash over 2,000 likes. If you're new, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, more daily F1 content, period. And as always, a big shout out to the members of the channel. Check out the links down below, guys, to all the mods. Also, channel sponsors, discounts, partners, all that stuff. And also, the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already. But yeah, guys, cheers for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care, and let's goodbye from me.